Hey, what up Z-Clan and everybody else, how you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 limited rewards video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the weapon skin essentially for the handmade, uh, the one I'm carrying right now. Uh, this skin can be unlocked by playing Season 2 and by reaching rank 79. So as soon as you've reached rank 79, you'll get to unlock this uh, paint. So let's stop wasting time and jump into a little bit more details. By the way, timestamps are available under this video, so if you'd like to see first person, third person, or any other topics, uh, just feel free to use the timestamps and you'll get to the part of uh, what you want to see quicker than watching the entire video. So as soon as you've reached rank 79 on season 2 for Fall 76 and you've claimed it, it will essentially end up in your atomic shop. So this is how it's going to look like. The section will be skins and weapons. So you'll find it in your weapon list and it looks like you might even going to be able to use it at the nuclear winter which is pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure you can because uh, I, if I remember correctly I used this one. I uh, haven't played nuclear winter for a while now. <laughs> so anyway, once you have uh, the skin and you're ready to rock and roll, all you got to do is just simply navigate to your uh, armor workbench click modify and repair find any handmade that you would like to apply the skin to so I already have it applied but uh, let's say for example I want to put something else on boom and you apply it right boom there we go uh, by the way the skin entirely changes the gun so for example if I am to create a, a new handmade let me just find it there we go so let's say just level 15 uh, and I'm not gonna put any mods on it so if we scroll down and find the handmade oh lol I already have a handmade <laughs> lol okay anyway so uh, here we go and you apply the skin as you can see other skins they kinda like don't change the appearance of the gun but this one does bam and you have the gun so afterwards you can apply uh, mods on it and uh, you will see how it looks like so I actually placed a few mods over here and light the long barrel and the uh, true stock and the dot so pretty much nothing else actually it looks pretty nice alright so now let's review the gun actually in the first person so as you can see it looks nice and when you aim it also looks good I remember when the first time such skin came to the atomic show there were some issues but I did give it a couple of tests with the mobs and it actually shoots where you aim so that's actually pretty nice and you go the reload effects etc the shooting one like that there we go Actually, it looks pretty nice. Man, I, I, ah, I want to. Ah. It's like this skin is actually really nice. I was thinking to go for a commando build, to be honest. But man, my shotguns, man, I love my shotguns. I can't say no, no to my shotties. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look how the gun is going to look like in the third person view. And it's still looking OP. Although it kind of clips through the special uh, ops uh, brotherhood of steel outfit which is not cool and uh, to be honest a whole bunch of other stuff always clip through an armor or a wall or whatever so I'm kinda already used to it but it's uh, not, not good but as you can see uh, the weapon skin is actually really nice you will definitely stand out with this skin although yeah you will stand out with the skin and if you got camo skins etc like for the secret service it actually might even look even better when we like reviewed it at the atomic shop section so if we go back over there uh, and just go back to the atomic shop real quick to show you that section again and actually you're gonna look even mo even better I mean it kinda like oh camo style so there we go my shoddy where is it what is that thing man there we go. Oh, that's the Under Armour. But there's also, uh, for the Secret Service camo, uh, actual uh, Secret Service will be visible. I'm pretty sure that's going to look even nicer. So, man, got to tell you, got to hand it to them. It's good. But still need a lot of fixing in regards to that clip thingy, man. 
Same goes for the uh, camp buildings and stuff like that. But in overall, it's a really good skin, definitely worth the grind. Alright, and uh, this is how the gun is going to look like at your uh, weapon display case, which is actually looking sweet. I haven't tested it with the new one because I haven't purchased the bundle because I heard there are some issues with it. But with this, the default one, the free version of the weapon uh, display case, or sh you know, it actually looks nice. So this is the one we got from season two, and it's also pretty cool. But to be honest, man, that one looks really nice, like modern style, you know, OP, like spec ops you know it's just good you gotta admit but anyway this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like by the way I really want to know your takeaway on that weapon skin do you like it what do you dislike about it etc uh, but once you're commenting please do not uh, swear because those comments get triggered by YouTube and nobody sees those comments so if you want people to read your comment and interact with it uh, you can always provide your negative or positive feedback uh, in a normal manner if you're new and you subscribe welcome to Z Clan I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine so I have from Ukraine if you want to join our community on discord feel free to do so the link is down in the video description uh, also I'd recommend you to watch the tutorial in case if you do not know how to apply user roles otherwise you will not see any chats uh, and uh, also all the useful links are down in the video description such as my twitch link where I do my live streams and if you feel like uh, showing additional support uh, feel free to subscribe to me on patreon that's optional obviously well once again thanks all for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and you all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lucky at it and I'll see you on the next video bye from the ashes we rose.